having the worst meltdowns for 13 minutes. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say to the camera that you're not stalking me. I am not stalking you. Oh. I don't even know who you are. Is that right? I'm not the whole thing. I'm a male that doesn't stand for women's rights. Get the f out of here. Let's go, y'all. So we got feminists having meltdowns for 12 minutes. I genuinely believe that feminism caused 99.9% .9 of the problems in the world, and extreme red pillars are feminism for men. Say I'm wrong. You can't. You can't. Agreeing with the business case of the airlines in terms of obesity. That's greed, Lynn, and that's just greed. Okay. Wait, walk body positivity, feminist absolutely destroyed. Oh you know what? Perfect yeah. example of greed, sweet pea, because you weigh 25 stone. Perfect. <laughs> okay, Art, would you describe yourself as a feminist? Yes. So, how do you, do you believe in gender equality? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so how do you reconcile believing in gender equality? but also holding men to their traditional gender roles of paying for the first date. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that's my personal view. Good question. Oh. See, like, it is her personal view. It's her personal choice. Uh, and it is fine to have a personal view and personal choice and preference. But to say that that is the new norm or the norm that is accepted for everyone and the women who don't do that are lower standard women than you are, that is a bad choice. I really don't think that men should pay for a first date. I think it should be 50-50. Also, I do prefer first date to be costless or even like, even if it's cost like minimum, so nobody feels bad or that they wasted time and money, which is both of those are really precious in someone's life if things didn't go well. Um, especially that a lot of women, a lot of women are using this idea of men first uh, pay for first date as a way for them to have a free meal all the time. So they just have to pre pre present themselves looking cute, whatever, eat for one hour, hanging out with someone even if they don't care about and earn a meal by doing that. So isn't that like kind of work? Woman can being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. Being a feminist is... I swear to God, man, they don't care about that. No, I think what she said, being a feminist is doing whatever you want to do without any consequences. But whatever you want to do is more specific in the way that they have the freedom of choice and they can choose to be who they are and what they want to do without having the idea of gender not allowing them to do that. For example, if they want to work in a, I don't know, in a company where physical work is for them really uh, hard, but they want to do it, they should be allowed to do that. Not because they're women, they cannot do it. Yeah, probably they're not going to be paid exactly the same amount as men because men can do more physical work than women. But in yeah, I, I think they, sh they should be able to do that. That Gender equality is for me feminism. They just make that shit up as they go. I doubt they even know what feminism is any <laughs> anymore. <laughs> whatever you want to do feminism is doing whatever you want to do with no accountability or reproduction. wait definition from google 100 legit political ideology of feminism discussions for your actions also making sure you get offended by everything a man does because men are trash Oh, no way, no way that's what feminism is. There is no way. Real definition. Get out of here, bro. Ain't no way that's a definition. If that's a definition, man, I am not black. <laughs> she don't even believe what she's saying. She's just saying, she's saying, buzz it. <laughs> Buzz it! Rights and stuff like that, but when it, I don't know, I just feel like this question's really dense. You believe in gender equality. It's really not, though. Do you think you <laughs> ought to split the bill on the first date? Exactly. Um, no, because... Equality, gender equality. If not even split, but you have to offer to pay and be prepared to pay. My main concern with gender equality is through, like, yes, in society, like, fixing that and through... The system, but so how the huh? hell you want to be equal but don't want to pay the bill? You don't want to go 50 50 on a bill, so you don't believe in equality, then yeah, you believe in some bullshit. Uh, yep, I don't. Oh my god, huh? she, she don't know and what no she's question. saying. She in does a rambling, incoherent response. Were you even close to anything that could be considered? 
I don't understand why some women answer some questions that they are not prepared to answer. They do more, and, and not only women, humans. They do more harm by doing that. If you don't know what you are saying and you know that whatever you say can be misinterpreted or taken out of context or harm the belief or the idea behind what you are standing for, if you are not prepared to say things, then just don't say it and learn how to learn how to like turn around the conversation towards something that you know what you're talking about which is kind of hard but if you go to a podcast like this and you know what you are dealing with you have to come prepared because they're gonna destroy you irrational thought everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it wow what a logical response i mean you can't argue with that can you let's read the comments she's so open-minded that her brain fell out <laughs> She was literally glitching after hearing the question. Everyone's a feminist until... Okay. But like, because she was not prepared to answer the question and she was under the spotlight. And... Yeah. That... That is hard. That is hard to deal with. Uh, she was literally glitching. Uh, I don't think there are any risks to eating animal foods exclusively. And you are a psychiatrist, am right, I correct? I a residency in psychiatry. So what do you know about nutrition? What is Where any... did you gain your background in nutrition? Listen, Google! This is, I think, no, is a... you listen to me and answer my question. Now I'm asking you I'm... to tell us where your background... Why do people, when they get heated, that they start screaming like that? There is no need to scream. Just, woman, just ask me a question and I will answer you. Damn it, woman, would you let me finish the goddamn sentence? Yeah. Ah! Let the man finishes his goddamn sentence! Like, he can't speak. Shit! I went to medical so he just wants school to fight. and I studied nutrition in medical school yeah. and I studied nutrition independently. He literally has a degree that he had to study maybe one course, two courses, which is like sometimes they last six months each about nutrition. Maybe he did go into another sphere of science, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't have a background. What is your knowledge? You're a TV show host or something? One of the crazy things about medical school is that it teaches you how to read articles. I'm a doctor. <laughs> oh, shit. He can read articles about it, guys. Damn. Sin needs to think about teaching doctors more nutrition in medical school. But it is up to us to educate ourselves just because there's a yeah. degree that says a doctor oh, yeah. doesn't mean that we have or don't have medical nutritional knowledge the yeah line is yeah you... and that is so true especially with medicine and programming in my opinion these two spheres are never ending and always developing um you have to always as a doctor you will always have books around you and you will always learn new techniques new things new illnesses new new, new outcomes everything like all the time and the same with programming technology keeps developing all the time like if you go as a programmer be ready to be studying for the rest of your life like you never end studying finish for me english language like i finished english like a language is a language yeah it can develop in like i don't know verbal sense but when it comes to grammar when it comes to the essence of the language syntax whatever it's always the same never changing you know but um yeah with medicine and programming it's like the change is so significant that you always have to keep improving to be a good a good programmer and a good doctor practice psychiatry am i correct i practice medicine i think practice that the, psychiatry I is that correct medicine exactly they don't want to answer man they just want to argue yeah oh and if you look at her haircut her haircut screams karen and her tone of voice confirms it. Uh, she got that lesbian cut, you know what I'm saying? Her, that's that lesbian cut right there. I guarantee you, she likes coochie. Really f***ing not in my car. And I can't guarantee you it's not going to be screaming because I'm pissed. One of my best friends posted a TikTok about her experience. And the comments on that video f***ing disgusted. <coughs> Most of them were f***ing... Right, listen, guys, let's, let's, let's do this. She... Let's put the video on mute and look at yeah. her. Pay attention to her now. I mean, she is very beautiful. She does have a filter. But this is the type of people who have so much time to just go out and rant about dumb shit. That don't benefit their career whatsoever. She's a little attractive, right? She kind of attractive. Yeah, she is. It's just when you hear her speak, it's like... The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you 
You know what I'm saying? She's like, she's yeah. like, um, she, she's ugly as hell when she's. It's speaking, like, yeah, man, you can look you so on... beautiful, but if you open your mouth and you say dumb shit like that, at least for a respectful man who cares about what a woman thinks and what a woman says, uh, that goes like, woo, you know, down the hill. Mute, like she's pretty. She's actually pretty. You know what I'm saying? Hey, come on, yeah. unmute her. I want to hear what she said. Okay. <laughs> Seriously? He's just gonna leave it like that? Now I want the original video. I literally want to hear what she was ranting about. Even though I'm sure. I am sure I disagree. And I'm sure it's trash and nothing meaningful to my life and existence. I'm a lady, really? I'm telling you a lady and you sitting here coming up on me screaming. Why can't she do Look, that? it's the free world. You want to do You want to do I'm a lady. <laughs> I want the whole fucking thing. Ah, very selfish. Yeah, that's not gender equality. There is no equality there. This is... <sighs> this is actually scary. Yeah, yeah, this is scary. Women like to trash talk a lot and scream. Men like to wage wars. Thank God. Women are not like that in this age and time. Because this would be an actual war. They would just like go bang, bang, bang on all men and be happy without men. And then we'll, and then 20 years after, like, oh shit. Not even 20 years, like five years. Let's say five years. of like, fuck, I miss men. What did we just do? There is no coming back from that. Equality. What are we talking about? I want equality. I, I love it. 50-50, or whole, motherfucker? No, 50-50, man. Oh, oh, or fuck off. I'll fuck you. I don't know what whole means. <laughs> <laughs> She's over here screaming She's crazy, in man. your face. Looking yeah. like Aang from Avatar the last year, Bender, bro. <laughs> hey, this is the head of the he was from. awesome. She's making the cause look bad. Me personally, I would not have yeah. her here. If I was a feminist, I would ask her yep. to leave, man. Yep. She's making exactly. me look bad. <laughs> yep. Stable feminist. They just have so much logic, don't they, guys? If this was like 50 years ago, they'd be stuck in a mental institution where they belong. No one can tell me this is normal behavior. No. And can you believe some women are saying, like when you interview women, they're saying women are more logical than men. But then there's this. Because women will trash talk, but they will not take guns and like that. That's it. Like they're not going to go with violence and deal with it in violent way. They're going to be more political about it and talk about it. Yes, there are crazy cases. Don't get me wrong. But overall, I think that. Let's look at leaders. Men leaders waged a lot of more wars than female or women leaders. And there are not a lot of women leaders to, to start talking about. So. I would say women on power and man on power. I feel like man on power is scarier than women on power. So that's my opinion. Like an ignorant way to stand, right? Like what? you're over here. <laughs> I I'm, I'm actually happy. <laughs> that, so that's Feminists are smelly, but that is yeah, different yeah, yeah. idea I'm of a feminine. Yeah. Yeah. So lying and being a high conflict part of your personality disorder. That's so mean. But it's kind Why of true. There are some. With your fucking eyes. Are you a woman? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Why are you looking at women with your fucking eyes? What am I so? What am I supposed to look at them? Yeah, with? my dick. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, didn't, I didn't even know. I'm, I'm sorry. Binary, so it doesn't really matter. Like, that's why I asked. I was trying to be polite. That's what you should do, right? Feminine skin trigger part five. Stop stalking me, Drake. Don't ever stalk me again. Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> he's minding his own business not even looking at her stalk me again who's talking about you that's <laughs> more you can even see his real reaction like this is a reaction of someone you know how they would react to like you can see that his reaction is so sincere he's not pretending he's like Pfft. What a crazy woman, you know? That's how he's feeling right now. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that yeah. right? Yes, it is. Say to the camera that you're not stalking me. I am not stalking you. I don't even know who you are. Is that right? <laughs> you want to give your name? I do not need to. You want to give me yours? You want to give me yours? Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no idea who you are, lady. 
So, you know, they're, you're dreaming. You think I'm dreaming. <laughs> She's harassing the mailman, bro. Yeah, he's the mailman. Keep talking. He's just you. doing his job. He's literally so done with this shit, bro. I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe like, men? Like, how much time do you have in your life to go and record the mailman doing his own job and, like, just messing with him? Like, what is wrong with your life? There is something fundamentally wrong with your life. You have a lot of free time, sweetie. You have a lot of free time. You. Uh, not thought from you. Peter, I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe men that offend you? Uh, not particularly. And, and if, if there were some I don't like, I certainly wouldn't want them banned. But it go, you know, it always goes back to that old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> there will always be something to offend a feminist. That is ridiculous. That, no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond. He's laughing, and I love that uh, text. We couldn't see the whole text because of the camera. But says, thank you for proving my point. Like, she got offended because of what he said, which is, yeah, offensive, but true. Like, it's the point. Like, he just proved the point. Hey, have a word. Come on, that's ridiculous. I mean, first of all, that, like... Wow, can you believe it? The Damn, I kind of I kind of wanted to hear a response to see what Yeah, was me too. Yeah, me being getting offended. Hey, 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 hey. This is not this this is asking to be punched. This is so disrespectful. Getting into someone's face like that with your finger as well. Don't expect anything less than a slap or a punch or a push physically because that is personal space. You know how important personal space for people are? Like they will kill for personal space. So don't do that. Respect other people's personal space. I get that camera out of my face either. In this space where we're told that our Sure, if they had a good man in your life, they would not never act like this, man. Feminism is like contorting your minds into becoming more on your masculine side and women are not meant to be on your masculine side it makes them miserable don't count because they're not that is the right so kind. true there is i don't want to speak in the name of everyone i'll speak in my name um i am a bit of a tomboy i like playing football i like uh working out in the gym like the boys do you know like lifting weights and whatnot i I would like to kickbox one day. I would like like I would like to try these things, all right? A bit question mark. F you, man. But <laughs> just kidding, I love you. Um, uh, but there are moments where I feel like a princess, I dress like a princess, and I wanna be treated like a princess by my man, and I feel so feminine, I feel so on point. Like those are the moments where I feel like it's natural and it's the right way. You know, and I don't know how to explain it, but there is something in me that is melting when I say that. I'm like, oh, that 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 feels so good to be loved and be seen as a princess, you know? Um, and I feel like that is inherited in women, but I don't know if it is the case or not. In me, it is. So that's what I'm going to say. Opinion. For me, it and is. We're constantly shouted over and talked over, regardless of what we look like, because there's one group in society that basically takes precedence and it's frustrating so yeah of course it's 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 frustrating because when we try to talk about it we get shouted down we get told to be quiet the fuck kind of evil villain laugh is that yeah <laughs> she's like proving her point we get we get spooked down too as well so okay, there's hostility there for plenty of women let's try to make this an opportunity to speak you're literally a white woman from australia you live in a bubble and you're pissed that voices that have been silenced forever finally can be heard that's why they have the voice because they speak up if you were making 100k a year how much would you expect your man to make equal or more why because when i look for a partner i look for equal or if it's more i'm not complaining but it's got to be equal what do you think about this statement my money is our money her money is hers i agree okay. i 100 percent agree why our money is our money but her money is her money right She's earning for herself, but like, oh fuck, no. <laughs> um, okay, this is one thing that I feel like I was taught as well. I don't know who taught me that through my life, 
But they always said, like, if you earn money as a woman, like, you are allowed to prep yourself and, like, take more of that money for yourself. But the man's money is for the family and the house. And now I don't know, like, if I think about it, I... I would not say that is the correct way. Like it should be 50-50. But also women do tend to spend more time, more money on like products and things to make themselves more pretty. Uh, men don't do that. Yeah, men spend money on other things that are also expensive. But I feel like women do it more often with fashion and whatnot and shopping uh, on a monthly basis. And I feel like they don't have to prove anything to the man when it comes to these spendings. Like these spendings needs to be like the man should accept that the woman will spend more because at the end of the day, she does look pretty for herself and for him and for the family. You know, she does take care of herself physically for both of them. And if a man likes a pretty woman, then he should allow her to spend more of her money or bigger percentage of her money on herself. What do you think? She's being forced to think. <laughs> they don't think. <laughs> she should pay for my Pokemon cars. Okay, great. All right, we're on the same. Okay. They never think, bro. They never think. It's always what makes them feel the best. <laughs> when they finally think, you're like, oh, shit. Okay, maybe that's not equality. Yeah, maybe I actually don't want equality. Yeah, they don't want equality. The man to protect and provide for you. Yes. If a man is expected to provide and protect, shouldn't he have some form of authority over his woman? No, no, no. No, authority Why? is a bad Our word. relationship is 50-50. I don't think author authority as a word should not exist in a partnership and a relationship, all right? You don't own anyone. Authority means the owner, you know? When an author writes a book, who's the author of the book? Who's the owner of the book? It's the author, all right? So authority as a word should not at all be existing. And that that mindset is terrible for a partnership. They should do it out of love and respect for each other because they want each other to have the best life they, they want to have. And they want the other person to be fulfilled and happy and satisfied with the relationship and the partner. So that's what should be the case, not authority. Like, F that, like, no. <laughs> it's not 50-50 no. if his money is our money and your money is yours. <gasps> this guy in the pot. That's like... <laughs> like me with my thumbnails. And sex doesn't come from women. So hey, it's, it's Mermaid! Man. This is a social concept. You don't think women can be sexist? I don't think that women can be Oh, yeah, they can like be one sexist 100%. Of the of the galaxy, you know, one of them golden aliens? She looked just like that. Oh, uh, she's very broad. Uh, misogyny, oh, like, of nonsense. No, because it's all. L'Oreal model. Don't, don't uphold the patriarchy, peers. That is not uphold the one. The patriarchy. What's that? You don't know what the patriarchy is. I do, but explain it. The patriarchy is basically. I know it's not a Mermaid, I was joking, that guys. Men at the top of power. Mm. So. The five it's most, not really I'm, that enforces the five people. most really powerful, have anything to the uh, five most powerful people in this country currently are women. How does that how does that sit with your patriarchy? how much more seriously racism is taken than sexism like i just came across this dude on tiktok that was like if women around the world there would be no war it's just a bunch of countries not talking to each other and it's like my dude that's that's sexist like i don't get it you're going off a stereotype if someone was like if black people around the world there would only be gangs and thieves that would be racist that would be problematic like why is it so normal to make fun of women and like just accept them as this inferior gender and everything's supposed to be like a joke and so if you call them out in the comments you're just a crazy feminist but like it's literally I don't know. I feel like, in my opinion as well, both causes are important. Uh, but some causes are more important in, in a specific area where they are living nowadays. Like, racism is, for me, in my opinion, way more important as a topic in America. While feminism is more important to be talked about in some parts of Asia, Middle East, Eastern Asia or Africa. Like it is always important where these conversations and where these topics are, are, are being talked about and dealt. I don't think that women in America are suffering as much as as people, black people back in the day, at least historically suffered. I, I don't know. Like, that's my opinion. <sighs> yeah, so. I'm just saying. Really sexist. And it also makes no sense because if you just pick up a textbook, any history textbook, you'll see that every single problem humans have has been created by men. 
So you think that there are women that aren't real women? Yes. Okay, like what? A lesbian. A lesbian's not a, a real woman. A transgender. Wait, wait, wait. A lesbian is not a real woman? <laughs> Does he know what a lesbian means? <laughs> what? Brother, what do you mean? This is literally two women being together. The women, like that's what. Le le a lesbian's not a, a transgender. Yeah, do you think? Okay, men... transgender is a different topic we can talk about and discuss. But a lesbian, you lost me there. Who take off the body parts and put on women body parts? You know, like breasts and all that. And put on dresses. Are they women or are they still? Are they? Yeah, are they women or are they still men? They're neither. I feel Sorry, like that's that. like that is <clears> so <throat> that is such a hard topic. I would always identify with, with and uh, identify and feel uh, compassion towards people who want to be a specific gender, but in my opinion, it is so hard to to like. I feel like the easiest way in my opinion, for transgenders is to, to, to create a new gender, to create transgender, like to not identify as a woman and not identify as a man, but be their own self and live through that. And for people to accept that will be so much, especially people who don't want to accept it at all, would be so much easier for them to accept someone who is a transgender who's not trying to be a specific gender. Because when you are trying too hard to be a specific gender and it goes against all the norms of a society and the way they were raised throughout their whole life and you want to like just change their whole existence and their beliefs it will it will create some tension but if you create something out of nothing as a new term it's so much easier for people to identify with that and accept it in a society um and i feel like that would solve so many issues especially for example if you say in in politics or sport Especially in sport, because right now women are suffering a lot by the idea of identification that men or some people are putting it and using it against uh, women. Because there are so many people who are pretending to be identifying as women while essentially they are men and physically way stronger than women. And they go into sport and then beat women and then, uh, I mean, like they win against a woman and then they are declared as a woman who won but it's a man you know like and this is this is not fair it's not fair towards women and that's why i think there should be a transgender section for sport and then all men who trans who change their gender into a woman can fight against each other and then you can you can literally have the best transgender or the strongest transgender i don't think that is a problem i would watch that sport i would support it 100 percent. i would be there for it 100 percent. i would be there for it but if I see that someone is literally discriminated or it's not it's not fair. If I see it's something that is not fair and I feel like it's not fair, I will always say it. He you know, said, you heard what he said. Transgenders now. And I'm sure I'm going to get hate for this. I'm sure about it. But it's it's what I feel like. It's what I believe in. We all know Bruce is a man. Well, he took off the body part. <laughs> She just was so done. And he's just talking. Like, why are you not prepared to communicate with people? Why are you so fed up talking? How do you expect someone to... to... understand you if you are not willing to understand them? If you are not willing to start from their point of view and slowly, slowly try to show them the way of your belief and what you, what you live for? Or live by like if you lose your patience with people then what are you gonna create here he was so willing to talk with you about it even if this conversation ends with nothing it is recorded it is out there for the internet there must be one person that will be affected by it but if you just give up you give up on the whole cause right Where are you going i'm leaving why are you leaving because what? Because what you're saying is extremely offensive and I'm not going to sit here well, for Come it. and tell me why. It's, it's bad See, bad. like, come and tell me why. Why do you think it is offensive? Nah, it's not going to work like this. Women should stop being offended all the time and try to actually explain what they have to say in a normal tone and, like, talk about it, you know, and share it out there. Just running away again. I need to run away, don't 
Bruce Jenner, like, yeah, he's born a man. And somehow he won the Woman of the Year award. I, I don't I don't know how, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the type of world we live in nowadays. Yeah. All right, y'all. I mean, Bruce was born as a man and Bruce doesn't exist anymore. When Bruce died and Caitlyn was born, it's Caitlyn now, right? Or whatever her name is. But Bruce was a man and will always be a man. You remember Bruce as a man and that's it, you know? So I don't know. But winning the Woman Award of the Year, see, is that fair? That's the world we live in. But is that really fair? I don't know. I don't know if that is fair. I don't really think that is fair, guys. That is for what reason other than to becoming a transgender? What did you do to the society, to the world, to the women other than changing your gender and making other people having that strength to change their own gender and, and, and be where you are like nothing else. So you won the award of transgender people. Like you affected other people who are transgender, not women, not me. What did you do to me? What did you change for me and my life and my existence? Nothing. So that's the thing, like, I don't know, America as well. This is mostly in America, by the way. I don't think Europe has to deal with this a lot. Germany is very open minded. Germany accepts everyone and everything. And uh, there is so many laws that keep changing all the time to accom accommodate everyone and th that is very nice but I don't think I don't know it's not that dense I would say yeah you is generally more open-minded I agree yeah mm -hmm.